Hey YouTube, it's Alex. So I told you I would do my daily um, updates. Um, they're mostly updates from the whole day yesterday and then up to like this point. Um, so yeah, I stopped having um, I stopped having contractions, which is awesome. Yesterday, um, they never went away because they'll never go away. So I have my normals usually. Dante's making fart noises in the back with his mouth. Um, I usually have like one or two contractions of an hour, and that's my normal, and I don't count those. Those are just my normal. So that's pretty much what I had for the, the day. So the frequent ones definitely went away, which is awesome. But when I had my normal contractions, they hurt. They were like hurting. So the pain is definitely increasing when I have my contractions. I'm feeling a little cranky this morning just because... Um, just sore. I feel like I need a good stretch. My legs feel like they need to be stretched bad. My back, um, my whole back feels like it is just not comfortable and I feel like I just need a good stretching in. And, um, when Paul wakes up, because he works graveyard shift, um, when he wakes up later today, I'm going to ask him to help me stretch my legs and stuff. I just feel like tense all over my shoulders, my back, my legs, my arms, everything. Um, even my neck. Um, I woke up at like 6.30 this morning um, with a big contraction like usual because I have big ones when I sleep. And had to go pee and then after that I had another one. And okay, let's not show everyone mommy. She loves laying, she likes my bare belly. She does not like my stomach covered at all. She's always lifting up my shirt. Um, and then I was able to finally fall back to sleep. And then Paul came home and he was like excited about something. He had to tell me something. And I'm like, okay, let's go back to sleep. And then this little girl started like crying, walking up the stairs. And when the kids walk upstairs, when the kids walk upstairs, it's like big thumping sounds. So I need to get like little carpet platforms to put on the wooden stairs so it's not so loud when they walk up and down. <clears throat> and then I told her to go back to bed, and she's really good. When you tell her to go back to bed, she always goes back to bed. She's not a difficult one. And then I just kept getting woken up. So I just feel cranky, you know, that normal crankiness if you haven't had enough sleep. I haven't had a very good night of sleep in a very, 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 very long time. So I think it's just catching up and it's affecting my attitude. Um, I am exactly... 36 weeks and two days today, which is when I had Dante. And I'm already pregnant longer than him because I had him at 8.57 in the morning. And <clears throat> it's way past that. <laughs> so I'm officially pregnant longer than Bubba. We call him Bubba. I never call him Bubba on YouTube, but we do in the house Mama. like crazy. She calls him Bubba. Mama. Mm -hmm. And um, so tomorrow's his birthday. And I don't think it's a good idea, but Paul insisted we go with the pumpkin patch because we go with the pumpkin patch every single year on his birthday. And he said we can't break tr tradition. So I'm going to try to take it as easy as possible. Um, I usually act out like a kid and run everywhere and do everything with Dante. And this time I'm going to be that, that parent that just walks and watches. I'm not a watcher. I'm a doer. <laughs> so that's going to be hard. Um... And then we're going to do like pizza at a pizza parlor at night and do all the um, the presents and cake and eating there because last usually we bring the party to the pumpkin patch and it, that will be too hard to do. So we're just going to do two parties, um, two different locations. The fun part, pumpkin patch, and then the other part, like what I just said, at the pizza place. So... My whole family is joking around that this pumpkin patch is going to put me into labor. And I'm hoping not. Um, I don't know. I just... I'm not comfortable. I feel like my stomach is super low when I... Usually when I stare at my belly. Um, my belly button's right there where I can see it. Now my belly button's like under my stomach. So I feel very much like my belly has... Definitely, not just dropped, but like significantly, like, yeah. Oh, Dante's watching his YouTube videos. Zombies. Um, 
but I don't think there's really anything else to really update. Um, I feel like every other day my contractions increase and then the next day will happen and then not that many contractions happen. And that was yesterday, not that many contractions happened, but when I did have them, I had a bunch of like back pain associated with it. I actually shot off the couch yesterday. We were watching The Walking Dead. We always watch it the day after because we get it off the PS4. And um, I had to like jump off the couch because I have these shooting back pains with a contraction in it. I just hurt. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're starting to hurt, you know, and that's what I've been waiting for, like the real painful ones. And, um, but not that many contractions yesterday, so I'm wondering if today, if I'm going to have more, because I did have a lot this morning, and I'm just going to try to take it easy. I'm probably the only uneasy thing I'm going to do is I plan on making banana bread, because we have a few, but few, uh, ripe bananas, and I don't want to throw them away, so that's kind of the only thing I'll really do. But tomorrow's definitely going to be a busy day, and probably going to be having a lot of labor symptoms even if I don't go into labor I'll probably be experiencing a lot of discomfort after the day is over <laughs> so she's saying bye so I think we're going to get off now Kira just can tell that it's the end of the video now so I'm going to have her push the button Mom. yep see bye oh she's kissing you